So this pack is now out and available for download and free for people that have uh, the season pass. I have to say, most of the DLC, most of it, in just my opinion, has been underwhelming. But to each their own. Some people are going to really enjoy it, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. There's just so many wrestlers I would have preferred to see, but it is what it is. This is uh, definitely a game I'm enjoying a lot. Overall, I can't wait to see the next iteration. Only because each time you're hoping now that it's going to get a little bit better. There is a certain excitement that a United So I haven't played this game. Oh boy. Exactly what it is. In a good couple of weeks. But I will tell you this, it's on the absolute most difficult setting. And what I mean by that is my health regen. My stamina is non-existent on Kevin Owens. All my attacks are at the absolute lowest that they can possibly be put at. It's on, uh, you know, legend difficulty. Just so that you're aware of that. Otherwise, all wrestling games are incredibly easy. This one makes it that if I'm not careful, especially... Mm. Oh, Jesus. If I'm not careful, what's going to end up happening is I'll get my ass beat. Which has happened a few times. I'll actually take a look at my uh, win-loss record there. But this is what happens when you play a game seldomly and you don't play it like every single day like some of the, uh, you know, content creators. How about just fucking wrestling YouTubers? They're not creating content. Square Enix creates content. But anyhow, this game, I gotta say, has taken up a lot of my time compared to some of the other WWE 2K titles. Even like 19 and 20 I played a lot, surprisingly. But there's something about this one, and I'm not too sure. Okay, not too smart there. Oh, let's see if I can do something here. Let's see if the glitch still happens. Uh, it seems like they may have fixed that move. I'll actually have to toss his ass outside and see for myself. I completely botched how to throw him outside. I actually... I forget how to do... This is what happens with the whole muscle memory thing when you're playing, you know, American Truck Simulator, your... I don't know, playing Marvel Avengers, just a bunch of other games. And then you go back to a game like this, even if you have a couple of hundred hours into it or more, it's amazing how quickly you can lose your footing a little bit. I just know that I'm so glad that I found that perfect setting for me to make this game. Impressive counter by KO. Oh, right in there. Yeah, let me let me start focusing here so I don't botch it. The main thing I wanted to do. Well, yeah, there's that too. Is. No, that's not it. No. Okay, for real? Seriously, I'm trying to focus because I'm trying to understand. Uh-oh. I don't want to lose. Oh, no. Oh, sweet pineapple. I didn't use my resiliency kick out the last time. I probably should have, but I, I thought that... It was like a bank. You could keep it there. But I should have known I would have gotten robbed out of that. Oh, I will get up and I'll shoe you in the nutsack. That's it. 
I'm just gonna throw him outside, honestly. He's ejected from the ring. That's that's just what I'm gonna do. Because at this point, I forget how to pick them up. Now watch this. This is the move that used to be severely glitched. Yeah, as this match goes on, is there any self doubt? Oh, it's still glitched. Okay. You can't even allow that it's still. See, I can't even. I can't even attack him because he he's glitched. He's like, no, nope, can't stomp a mud hole in you. He's twisted like a pretzel. Now to actually see if I can put the priest down. Please, please, please allow me. Yeah, that move. That's what I wanted to do to him. Oh my God. That is absolutely brutal. Yeah, the submission, but I'm on the outside. That's it. That's what you get. Now, if I can just remember how I did that. Oh. Wow. Nasty. Definitely don't want the priest doing his finishing move on me. It would be very inappropriate. Just like that comment. Out of nowhere. Usually that's reserved for an RKO. But I'm saying that stunner was out of nowhere. I think this is the best balance for myself I've ever found in a wrestling game in terms of difficulty. It's an absolute loot thing of beauty. Now I used my resiliency. There's no way I was going to kick out of that. No, it's happened before. I did the wrong one. I wanted to do is pop up power bomb. That'll have to do. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to be putting him away. Oh, I just took out the ref. Did you see that? Surprised I didn't uh, get DQ'd for that little pop-up power bomb action. And of course he fucking reverses it, because why not? I even reduced the chance of counters for finishers, but because it's on uh, Legend, I suppose. And that's probably why it still seems like it happens a lot. You know, the combo system I've complained about a lot, but sometimes I like it, and sometimes I don't. It feels a little bit more simulation-ish, but it's definitely... Really? That put him away? Oh, okay. But again, there's many opportunities in which I could have easily lost that match. That's right. Still a lot of things they need to fix, like I've complained about in the past, like when you have multiple titles. You don't get to choose which titles you're coming out with. You don't get to hold multiple titles. You don't get to choose if one's going to be like on your right shoulder, one on your waist or whatever. Ah, Breezango. Man, I miss those guys. Seriously. Really, really miss those guys. They were comedic. I still think they were talented. And now with other wrestlers involved. Yeah, this is all simulated, by the way. I may have to come to the point of removing some wrestlers so that there's a better chance of other wrestlers showing up, if that makes any sense. Because you can only have so many wrestlers per show. Right? So, but yeah, this this is a title match I would have loved to have really seen. But anyways, we're going to exit the show. That'll be it for now. Just wanted to do 
you know, something for the algorithm where basically I keep up with playing some of my absolute favorite ever games. American Truck Simulator, wrestling games, sports games in general. Uh, they're some of my absolute all-time favorites. Ark Survival Evolved. There we go. We can see my match record. I used to be 31 and 1, or not 31 and 1. I used to be like 20 and 1 or something like that. And then I really, really, really tweaked the settings. And then I was like, oof, I'm starting to lose here and there. And it feels good. It really feels like I actually have to try. That one draw, I still don't know what that is. It may have been a double count out. I'm not too sure. Anyhow, that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll bend it in half, twist it, and break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And in case you're wondering... Why I don't play my faction, by the way, which seems like an awesome mode, is for one reason only, and it's stupid. You can't change the movesets in my faction of your wrestlers. And when you don't have the internet, you don't get to play the mode. It's fucking dumb. Anyways, take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.